Hi friends, I'm Snuggly and I'm joined today by the lovely Slew Style who you might remember from a video we did back in 2022. Feels like a long time ago, but she's back. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell everyone what uh, you do and what's so great about you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm Sarah from Slew Style. I create products that are mystery inspired, so particularly Nancy Drew, Murder She Wrote, themed items, and so that's what I'm currently doing is running that shop and designing those items. They are amazing items. I thoroughly recommend. As you can see, I have one right now, and I was just telling Sarah that I use it every day. In fact, I also have like multiple of her shirts, her notebooks, her Etsy store is wonderful. I am constantly like coveting things on there. So if you haven't checked her out yet, do yourself a big old favor and do that. We're gonna talk about Mystery of the Seven Keys, but we're not here. We're not interested in whether it's a good game or it's a bad game. All we care about is whether the characters are serving See You Next Tuesday, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So we're going to go through our worst to best dress list. There are nine characters with nine unique looks and we're going to yeah rank them from worst to best. Are you ready? I am. And let me pull my, my list up since I cannot be trusted to memorize them in order. Exactly. So, okay. <laughs> I have my notes too. <laughs> We're both organized and ready. <laughs> ready to judge. Project Runway style. Exactly. <laughs> Put us on like Project Runway Nancy Drew edition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my worst dressed, I'll just like start off right off the gate. I don't know. I don't know how what your list is like. So I don't know how controversial this is. But I think the worst dressed character in Mystery of the Seven Keys is Elka. Okay. All right. What is your reasoning behind that? Well, I think she is a bit outdated. <laughs> I'll say with her fashion, okay. it's giving like 2014 Forever 21 mm -hmm. core. Her eyebrows mm -hmm. are just way too dark for her hair. She really just mm -hmm. doesn't feel like someone who is keeping up to date with trends. And like, that's not to say that she doesn't follow trends. Like she's not really got, oh, I'm gonna be, this is so brutal. I'm gonna say she doesn't really have her own sense of style cause she's following trends, mm -hmm. but she's following trends from like 10 years ago instead of like mm -hmm. current trends. Or maybe she just you? makes really good use out of her wardrobe. And she's like one of those really sustainable girlies who's like, I'm gonna make the clothes I buy from Forever 21 last. Like I know I'm not <laughs> buying sustainable brands. <laughs> but if I buy mm -hmm. something, I'm going to wear it. So that's my thoughts about Elka. I can understand that. And actually, when I I wrote down kind of like the vibe, like kind of what store I picture these characters shopping at. Love that. For Elka, I did write Sun, <laughs> <laughs> which was, yeah, kind of more trendy. Yeah, back in like 2012, 2014. So I think I'm also picking up on those vibes. I did not rank her as the worst, though. Ooh, um, who's your worst? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Um, I, well, I think, first off, I don't think anyone in particular is, like, bad. Like, mm. there's none that are, like, oh my god, like, I can't believe what, like, what were they thinking? No Guadalupes from White Wolf Vice. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, nothing, like, super crazy. So it was a little bit tough, I feel like, to kind of rank them. But, unfortunately, I did put, um, oh my god, I'm, like, blanking on all their names now. <laughs> Oh, no. I did finish the game, I swear, and I promise. Okay. It is the grandfather of <gasps> Alka. Oh, okay, Merrick. Um, okay, I, I thought it, you were talking about another character. Is that Merrick? Yeah, Merrick. I don't think it's particularly bad. Like, I'm not disgusted by anyone here. <laughs> <laughs> Good. But I would say it's, like, not as fashionable as... Mm maybe the other characters it's much more traditional i don't know if you're seeing those like tiktoks and reels where it's like 
the t- the title is like you dress like a 1950s grandpa <laughs> and it's these like gorgeous men that that do dress like a 1950s grandpa but they look you know amazing so maybe one of them will wear this outfit <laughs> but <laughs> but I did put him as the lash just because it didn't feel as like yeah as fashion forward uh, he was very traditional very like yeah very um middle of the road so hopefully my dog just barked hopefully they do not start barking I apologize uh, they also have opinions <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe they're like no ma you're wrong <laughs> how dare you slander Merrick and his sweater vest yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> what um store did you have for Merrick if you had one I put him and I'm familiar because I worked at the store at one point in my life. I put him as a L.L. Bean customer. <laughs> yes. L.L. Bean, we definitely sold those plaid button downs and like those those chinos. Even though I don't know if there's L.L. Bean in, you know, Europe. I'm not quite sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. I feel like he would be a fan. If he has access to it, I think he would be a fan. Oh, definitely. He'd be like one of those people <laughs> who'd like travel to America just to shop at L.L. Bean if they don't have Maybe, it. Maybe, yeah. He's like, it's quality. They last. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah, maybe he passed mm-hmm. on that like lesson about making your clothes last to Elka. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's where she gets it from. My second to last, I don't know, might also be kind of controversial, but I have Adela as second worst dressed. I think she's having like a bit of a fashion crisis because to me her style is being pulled in two kind of directions. Firstly, love her go-go boots, and I actually would go back and agree with you that I don't think any of these characters are like abysmally dressed. I agree with that. I actually had some trouble deciding who was the worst dressed, but Adela, she has those those go-go boots, which are pretty cool, and her her go-go boots, her long blonde hair, they're giving like Nancy Sinatra, which I love, but then she's got pairs them with this like trench coat and jeans, and that's giving like Christian girl autumn to me. So it's just like a very kind of confused <laughs> outfit in my mind. Got you. Like Got if she committed to one or the other, I would mm-hmm. it would have been amazing. But she doesn't. She's like torn between the two. Yeah, no, you're right. I think like no one here like Oh, maybe someone um, <laughs> like fully went for it. Like mm. everyone is playing it very safe. Yes. Um, yeah. And which is fine. Like if that's your comfort level. But obviously, like we're we're here to cheer you on if you want to go like the full go go boots. And <laughs> um, like you know, if you want to go do the whole ensemble, that would be amazing. But if not, yeah, I understand. I can see what you're what you're saying. <laughs> Yeah, like, if she'd been wearing, like, a fun, like, 60s-style mini dress, that would have been mm-hmm. so cute. She could have kept the trench coat even, but, mm-hmm. yeah, I feel like the go-go boots deserve so much better than those, like, basic, like, American Eagle jeans. I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. For her, I put J. Crew. That is a boiled wool coat that J. Crew has sold in the past. So for me, for number eight, again, I don't think this is like bad, but for some reason I don't like this outfit. Mm-hmm. And I'm not quite sure why I don't like it. It is Bladena. I don't know why I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's like the almost turtleneck lace green paired with like a different green blazer i think like in my head that that lace is actually like stretchy (laughs) like a stretchy lace from like forever 21 almost um i think maybe that's why maybe it's like a tactile thing like i just don't like the feeling of that yeah but i put her as a banana republic girl Uh um (laughs) very safe very like you know business casual Mm. and it's funny because like i really like her hair her hair is really Mm. it's cute but like her character art looks like she's natalie portman yes oh my god yes (laughs) right (laughs) like i did not pick up natalie portman at all with her actual model it's only with the character art and i was thinking to myself like 
The character art is like a type of picture of myself I would post on Instagram <laughs> when in actuality I look like the, the model. Yeah, <laughs> like, like the, Instagram versus the game model. reality. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so that's, that is why I put her at number eight. Not quite sure the exact reasoning why, but for some reason I'm just not liking her outfit. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I can understand that. And it's interesting, like, I feel like there's quite a few characters in this game who really, like, pick a color scheme. Like, Merrick is, like, all blue, basically. Vladina is, like, her outfits are completely green. Oscar, is the museum curator, his outfit is also very blue. So it seems like they, a lot of the characters have these, like, signature colors that they wear, which is very interesting. And I wonder, now that you say that, and I'm, I'm looking at the pictures of the characters, um, it kind of reminds me of Only Murders in the Building, where they each, those three main characters have like a color. And I'm pretty sure they did that because of Clue, I think. Oh, you know how there's like Professor Plum, yeah. and Mr. Green. Colonel and Mustard, I think that's what yeah. they, yeah, I think that's what they like wanted to kind of bring in that show and I'm almost wondering if that was a similar logic with this it's yeah. like each character kind of has their own color which yeah I just thought, like <laughs> now that you said that like I'm like oh yeah you're right they are like pretty monochromatic <laughs> yeah and I can totally see the the clue like you've got like the guy wearing like the professor plum purple coat Radix sweater is literally mustard yellow I bet it was, yeah. like, kind of somewhere in their minds. My number seven is Merrick. I completely agree with you. I wrote that I don't think he's dressing with style in mind, and that's why I didn't place him higher. I think he's, like, really prioritizing comfort over style. Like I said before, I love a sweater vest, and I think he looks, you know, he looks pretty good for what it is, but I don't think there's, like, much intention behind the way he's put his outfit together other than to be, like, the most comfortable he can be, which I do respect, but this is, like, a fashion contest, a ruthless <laughs> fashion battle, and he would not win it because of that. <laughs> ruthless exactly. <laughs> cutthroat yeah you have to respect someone who puts their comfort first i mean to be honest like i could see myself like as an older person like wearing this outfit and yeah. being like very confident in it and comfortable um yeah oh it's so. i can see a jessica fletcher wearing it totally exactly yeah exactly <laughs> jessica fletcher would rock a uh you know a sweater cardigan for sure oh yeah actually <laughs> i can see i can see her like you know in um, a lot of the episodes where she has like a little kind of like slight romance with some older gentleman i can see merrick mm -hmm. being like someone she'd have a little little kind of mm, maybe romance yeah. kind of thing with. <laughs> I could see her being drawn to <laughs> Merrick and like, oh. <laughs> I like how uh, we went from like Nancy Drew to like writing like murder she wrote fan fiction. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think, like, we're gonna go play, <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna talk about, like, Murder, She Wrote, and Clue, and oh, probably yeah. Scooby-Doo will come up at some point. Oh, yeah, <laughs> actually, Scooby-Doo, they all have signature colors as well, maybe that was also true. something they were thinking about. My number seven was Patrizzi. You can tell, like, she's a little bit more fun, and a little bit more, I think, almost bohemian, which mm. I appreciate, but there's definitely some like mismatch going on mm. with like the apron which is like not her fault like i don't know <laughs> if baristas are really gonna color coordinate their <laughs> apron to the outfit they're wearing that day i think that's like the only thing that's like a little bit a little bit off in my mind mm. but she's fun though she's not like the most put together most fashionable but i do enjoy that she is clearly like i don't know like i said she just feels a little bit more like free-spirited than the other people in the way they dress yeah um, she's which more i appreciate playful. yeah yeah exactly and i would say you know a good barista would you know mm -hmm. color coordinate so <laughs> just saying 
Maybe, yeah. <laughs> and she's like the owner of the coffee place. Like she could choose the color of her apron. <laughs> what store did you have for Patrizzi? <laughs> I need to know. I'm, I love because you've been um, so accurate with all of them. <laughs> I put Talbot's and Chico's. They're older women's stores. I'm pretty sure Talbot's has that exact top. Like I feel <laughs> like I have seen that with that little like cut out. Moving on to my number six. I have Vladina. I I agree with a lot of what you said. I think that she thinks she's slaying. Like she thinks she's wearing like the hottest outfit. I there are elements of it that I love. Like I do like that she's committed to that monochrome look and she's got this kind of coordination thing going on. And I like the kind of contrast between that like delicate lace turtleneck even if it's a weird texture and like under (laughs) that under the more like formal blazer but because she's like a so-called expert gemologist i would have expected her to be a lot better at accessorizing like her Mm. bangle looks like it's made out of melted plastic and like her earrings are like i think they're a totally different color they're like pink they're the one part of her outfit that doesn't fit her green color scheme it's like girl you literally Mm. own a jewelry store did you not have a pair of green earrings to go (laughs) like and they're not like even big enough to be statement earrings to make sense like contrasting so yeah she's got some issues with her look yeah i didn't even notice the earrings and like now i dislike the outfit even more (laughs) to be honest because you're right the earrings are out of left field they almost look like they're silver and pink and then the bracelet's gold which like does seem odd for a jewelry person to not have like matching perfect pieces for an outfit that's strange <laughs> yeah she's not a very good advertisement for her own store <laughs> number six for me was leo i was kind of vibing with his outfit i really liked the like plaid blazer and then like the the sweater vest w- which added some color and texture mm-hmm. for some reason i just like the, the those kind of combinations It felt like he maybe was trying to put a little bit more effort into the Mm -hmm. fashion and I appreciated that. And so that's why I have him as a little bit higher on my, (laughs) on my scale. Cause I did like the color combination and the the pattern combination. Yeah, I I would agree there. I'll I'll say more about what I think of Leo later. Cause I have, I have some thoughts, but I'll say my number five is Zane Garrett. He has like the long coat, the long purple coat is such a great statement piece. It's not an obvious choice. It's not an expected choice. So I respect that so much. And like purple just suits him so much. Purple is his color, but I feel like the rest of the outfit is really like not in service to the coat. It's like very disappointing like compared to the coolness of the coat like (laughs) it felt like he was like oh i've got this cool coat so i don't really need to try with the rest of the outfit like it's like a gray button-up shirt and a pair of blue jeans like dude you gotta like you know make your outfit more worthy of that really cool coat so i'm a little bit disappointed in him i see it i see it like the way you said it kind of is like oh well i have this cool coat i don't really need to put much effort into what's underneath of it so i definitely can see the criticism there for sure my number five was oscar i thought he was very well dressed but nothing really special very just you know it's a blue a blue gray suit with a blue shirt and a bow tie like he looks it looks like it's well tailored to him Mm -hmm. um so that's nice but you know it it just didn't really like catch my eye or make me go ooh ah so i just put him in the middle of the road at number five yeah it's not a life-changing outfit for sure (laughs) i think you're so right about how like all of the characters seem to have played it really safe i would say like maybe Vladina is like the boldest out of all of them. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah, there's no yes, one. I think she tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more so than the other characters tried, <laughs> but maybe didn't quite succeed. All right, that means it's my four, number four, which I have Patrizzi. I mm -hmm. actually, I'm going to slightly disagree with you. I'm kind of a fan of her unique color combo. Like she's got like a lot of colors going on and I don't think they entirely like don't go together. Like they don't entirely go together, but they don't mm -hmm. entirely not work together either. And I think it makes a lot more interesting because like we were saying, a lot of the characters seem to just be dressing in like one color and she's like really switched up and she's got a lot going on i love her pink hair i don't think i can't remember actually i guess sunny june is in the other nancy drew character with colored hair but i don't think there's been that many so i love that especially because she's like an older woman and i feel like you see colored hair less often on older women so i think it just really signifies what like a fun character she is and yeah, in conclusion, I think she's serving more than just coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you had to do it. <laughs> would, have, would have been a missed opportunity if you didn't. I can respect that. I can. These aren't like colors that I gravitate towards, but I do agree. She's like the one of the most like broken up. Like the like mm. like we were saying, a lot of them are kind of monochromatic. So like. It is nice to have somebody who isn't, like, not every single person is, like, all yellow, all green, all whatever. Someone had to, like, point out the pink hair to me. <laughs> um, I don't know if I thought maybe it was just, like, the lighting in the game. Yeah. Um, but someone was like, oh, my God, I love her pink hair. And I was like, she has pink hair. And I went back and I was like, I, oh, I guess she does have pink hair. Which I do like. I think that's really cool. I, I feel like I have been seeing a lot more, like, older women that are dyeing the hair fun colors, mm -hmm. which I think is super cool. I think that the pink is quite subtle. Like it, it does mm -hmm. kind of look like it could just be the lighting, but I think that's even cooler. Like it's not totally mm -hmm. in your face. Yeah, yeah, not like a highlighter pink. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the most natural pink hair can look. Yeah, <laughs> natural pink. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I'm a natural pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, that would be my dream. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So the next one for me might be taken aback by this. Um, oh. I actually did put Elka. Okay. Um, as long as she's not your number one. <laughs> no, no, she's not my number one. And I, and I like that's I totally do like I feel the same way that I feel like this is like a Forever 21 Pack Sun. Like you bought this at the mall type of look. Probably the reason I rated her so highly is just because I kind of like paper bag waist pants, which is what okay. she has. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry I think that if I like, like subtly no. shaded you. <laughs> That's no, it's fine. Like you're totally valid. Like it's all, it's totally valid. But I think I also did have this feeling of like, well, but would I pair those pants with that shirt? And the necklace almost feels a little weirdly chunky to me. Like, I don't I don't know why I yeah. just don't see, like, this big gold medallion with this shirt. The combination is kind of a little strange. I think I felt like she was making an effort, and so I was like, okay, like, I see the effort being made, and so I'm going to, like, reward yeah. you for that a little bit. Um, Fair enough. But yeah, but yeah, I, but like the vibes that you're sensing, I also feel as well. So I feel like, <laughs> I, you know, I understand that and respect that. So that's why she's my number four. Okay, yeah, fair enough. This is super nitpicky, but I feel like if her necklace had been just like a bit shorter so that it fell like higher up on her t shirt, mm -hmm. I think it would have worked. But because yeah. it's, like, so low-hanging, I feel like it doesn't. Yeah, and you know what? I actually thought it was potentially going to play into the storyline in some yeah. way. Yeah. Because it, it felt it, so, like, glaring. Yeah. Um, You're so right. Yeah. It is, like, such a <laughs> chunky 
necklace. Like, it's so in your face and obvious. And, like, none of the mm-hmm. other characters, I think, are wearing necklaces. So it stands mm-hmm. out even more. Yeah. I can see her, like, having a picture of, like, her dead mother in there. Yeah, that's why I think what was where my mind was going. Like, there's gonna we're going to open it at some point. There's going to be a picture. Um, or maybe there's going to be, like, some kind of electronic thing in there. Because she Ooh, did that thing with yeah. her ring. Um, So maybe she modified the necklace in some way. Yeah, because it just felt a little bit off from that outfit. I mean, like I said, I think those the pants, the shirt, and the necklace are all not quite right together. But Mm -hmm. like I said, I give her points for trying. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you're more generous than I was. (laughs) We're getting like higher up now. My bronze medalist in the Mm -hmm. the fashion olympics of mystery the seven Keys <laughs> is actually oscar and i really mm-hmm. agree with what you said about his outfit being very well tailored like that's exactly what i had written as well that like his outfit it's not really very interesting in itself but it is supremely well tailored like i totally can see it being a custom fit made for him and again i do like that he stuck to like a collar combo which means like everything in his outfit like coordinates really well like you can tell like even though he and Merrick have like the same (laughs) color combination going on the same like blue theme you can tell that Oscars is a lot more intentional and thought out Mm -hmm. yeah no that that makes sense put for Oscar like he probably shops at Brooks Brothers like gets his suits tailored whereas like Leo probably shops at like Joseph A. Banks and just like kind of buys off the rack which is fine but yeah I I do agree that like he definitely put it looks like he put in that extra effort to like get a suit that really fits him and so yeah so I felt like he needed to be (laughs) a little bit higher on the scale than the others my number three is Radic. I think the yellow sweater is a very nice color. Not too many people, especially like men, wear. I feel, I feel like they normally don't wear yellow, so it's like a nice unexpected choice. I think the green pants go well with the yellow, and then I like his his uh, his crossbody bag. Yeah, I think he looks he looks like well put together. He looks like he put some like thought and care into the pieces that he's wearing. He also looks kind of, to me, he looks like Justin Bieber in uh, his artwork. Um, No! But then he's like totally Tom Holland in the game, if you ask me. Like Tom Holland from like like a Spider-Man movie. Yeah, yeah. That's the vibe I got. (laughs) Interesting. Um, I've heard a lot of people say um, Penn Badgley for him. Yeah, who is Ben Badgley? What's he from? He was like in in Gossip Girl, and you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think I've seen him, but I haven't like, I've seen pictures of him. I haven't seen his personality, so I have to look yeah. into that. Okay. Very interesting. And what store do you have for Radic? Where does he shop? <laughs> I put him as a J Crew boy. <laughs> oh, J. Crew. Wait, was it someone else, J. Crew? That was Adela. I think Adela, Adela they, and They're going Radic. shopping together. Radic is actually my number two. I completely agree. I love his sweater, love some statement knitwear, and I really like that the color of his sweater, like the yellow, feels like a representation of his, like, sunny personality so I really liked that element as well that it felt really considered for the type of character he is also yeah I think he, he just looks good mm-hmm. yeah yeah I agree yeah <laughs> yeah they did a good job <laughs> so my number two this is gonna be controversial for you um, <laughs> okay um so I actually did put Adela as number two oh. um Because I'm, like, fine with this outfit. I agree. I feel like she played it safe. And she could have been, uh, had more fun with it. And I also agree that, yeah, she does look like a, (laughs) like a a fall Instagram girl. I agree with all of that. Yeah. But I, I think, like, I don't know if it's because 
out of all the outfits, this is like the one that I would like. Like if someone said, you have to wear one of these outfits, I think like that's the one I, I would take. I'd be like, okay, like I'll wear jeans and I'll wear a sweater and I'll take this coat. She had like white boots, right? Yeah, the go-go boots. <laughs> Which I actually kind of have a similar pair. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. Well, those are the, my favorite part of her outfit. Okay. I was like, maybe that, like, psychologically, like, <laughs> oh, like, I have to rate her high because we have the same footwear. So, yeah, so I did rate her higher just because I was like, yeah, like, I'm, I am fine with this whole outfit. It's, it's perfectly palatable, I think is the way I would describe it. Perfectly palatable. That's like <laughs> a <laughs> glowing recommendation. <laughs> it's not crazy. I don't love it, but... It's, she looks put together, I think. Like So that's why I put her at number two. <laughs> well, now I know what your number one is, which is very interesting. But I'll <laughs> say my number one first, which is actually Leo. I, mm -hmm. I think I kind of, like, not that I'm a priest, but I think I probably had similar thoughts to yours where I was thinking, like, what would I wear the most? And I love the color of his cardigan and how it contrasts with like the brown plaid blazer like i totally love both those pieces and how they look together so i would totally totally wear them together he you know he puts the sleigh into layering um <laughs> he is the, like not just the dean of saint vitus's cathedral he's the dean of layering <laughs> and yeah. I have to mention at one point he says, I never shy from an opportunity to serve. And I was like, no, you don't, sir. You're serving <laughs> right now. <laughs> so I'm just a big fan of, of Leo's look, I would say. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, and I can totally see why. Because, yeah, I would love to have, like, a plaid jacket like that myself. Like I said, I do really appreciate that it felt like he was like mixing different textures and colors and patterns. And so, yeah, I really appreciate that. And I can totally see why, you know, anyone would want to wear it. I think that is like a really good, <laughs> a really good choice. Um, Thank you. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so, yeah, so that left me with Zane. It could partially be, he's a beautiful human being. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that could be. I'm being biased, maybe. <laughs> but I think I was blinded by the coat. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's I a think the coat, coat. I love a beautiful overcoat. And then, yeah, in a color that's, like, so unexpected and unusual mm. and bold, like, that just, I think, gave me, like, it just was like, oh, like, this guy has style like he he went for it but i do absolutely agree that like the rest of the outfit really isn't anything special and that that's kind of a missed opportunity that he could have done like a really cool button down underneath of it with some kind of pattern or like even i don't know like some like purple details here and there i think would have been really cool some sunglasses yeah. Um, oh yeah <laughs> But yeah, I think it was like, I just was like, oh, I like that coat. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like that coat, you win. <laughs> it is a great, it is a great, great coat. But I, you know, mm -hmm. he could, he could like, you know, level up the outfit by, by switching out even just like the shirt to be like mm -hmm. something. Cause I don't know if the gray goes with the purple very well for me, but mm -hmm. yeah, he's probably got the best coat out of all the characters in this game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like he definitely looks he looks put together. He looks he looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh yeah. He rocks um, like, the coat. He owns yeah, the coat. <laughs> exactly. Which yeah, really I'm interested to see if we see him again because it seems yeah. odd to make a character model that's only in like the last scene. Yes. Um, so it does make me wonder if he's going to be a reoccurring character. I wonder if they'll change his coat. <laughs> yeah, or, or two different colors or whatever. Underneath, yeah, yeah, maybe he has yeah. a whole rainbow of coats. Of coats. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that'll be interesting. Interesting yeah. to see. Okay, do you have a store for um, Zane? For him, I feel like he's designer. 
Um, oh, yeah. So I think I just, like, randomly put, like, Armani, kind of, like, the first thing that p- popped into my mind. Nice. Yeah, I can see him, <laughs> like, shopping designer. And, like, he has yeah. a pretty, like, um, high-level job. I can see him having the money to afford designer as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think he does well for himself. This is fun. I'm actually surprised we didn't have, like, any in common. Like, all of ours were in different orders in our lists. Well, like I said, I felt very conflicted. Like, I, there was not, none that I felt strongly, like, I, none that I strongly disliked, except for Vladena for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I've changed this probably like a couple different times because I have mm-hmm. been like, well, like, Oscar looks really good in that suit, even though it's not that, like, innovative or exciting but you know because like I kind of like them all in their own way and so it made it pretty difficult to like be like this person's the worst or this one is really bad um yeah yeah yeah. so yeah it jumbled up the results I think (laughs) (laughs) yeah I also like had such trouble like ranking them I ended up just kind of going like you know you just go here you're fine (laughs) you go here you go here so it was definitely tough to speak to the viewers and commenters watching this video let us know what your favorite and least favorite looks and outfits from mystery of the seven keys were and if you agree or, or disagree with our opinions and think maybe we we're too harsh about Vladina or whatever. <laughs> Even though I stand by it, her outfit is not great. Her accessories are poor. You know yeah. what would improve every character's outfit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah, that would be style suggestions. Um, yeah, my well, my yeah. style suggestion is going to be anything from your Etsy store. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hats. So sweet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. It's very sweet of you. I mean, obviously, Elko probably would wear a, like, a um, probably listening to true crime hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> And, and for me, too, because like she says she um, she listened to that podcast Nancy was on. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. My favorite yeah. high stakes heist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'd be really cool if we got to, like, listen to that. Like, if they made yeah. it. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. That would be yeah, so good. Be cool. mm-hmm. That'd be I could see that marketing even... move. Yeah. Like, marketing. I could see that being, like, an intro to a game is, like listening to nancy talk to (gasps) this interviewer about a case or whatever like yeah there's a lot of potential there looking forward to i love that idea yeah (laughs) (laughs) well thank you for joining me for this it was so great to have you back thank you thank you so much yeah for coming up with this idea for you know wanting to (laughs) talk to me again about this stuff i really appreciate it it's always a pleasure talking to you so thank you for the opportunity oh ditto to you and everyone go check out slew style right now because you won't (laughs) regret it should we try to say goodbye at the same time okay ready (laughs) Uh, one (laughs) two three Bye. Bye. I think you were a couple seconds behind me, but that's fine. Probably, yeah. There's probably some lag there. Yeah, that makes it funnier, though, I think. (laughs)